Rates in the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is a few different things. I'm going to be showing you um, a couple of makes that I've been working on. I'm going to be showing you a work in progress and I'm also going to be telling you about a new sewing challenge which is happening over on Instagram during the end of November into December time. So if you're interested in all of that, then please do stay tuned and I hope you enjoy watching. Before we get going today, I'll just let you know what my channel is all about if you are new here. Basically, I record videos each week about my sewing journey. So that could be things that I've made, it could be sewing patterns, it could be fabrics, it could be upcycling, all that stuff. So if you are interested in that, then please do press that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press that notification bell and then you won't miss any of my future videos. Today I'm actually wearing one of my favourite dresses and this is the Olive Pinafore by Tilly and the Buttons, uh, which is from the Make It Simple book. And I'm also wearing a another t-shirt under here, which you can't really see because I've got a ready to wear cardigan on here. But this is the, oh, what's it called? It's from the stretch book and it's another one of Tilly's t-shirt patterns so I can't quite remember the name at the moment but it's a lovely t-shirt and I, I recommend both the stitch book stitch stretch book <laughs> and also the uh, make it simple book both by Tilly and the Buttons if you haven't checked those out already I'm sure you have though to be honest because they're both fantastic books and I know they're very very popular so let's talk about sewing makes so I've actually made two jumpers which I wanted to share with you which are actually for two different friends of mine for one's for birthday and one's for Christmas actually now I don't believe that um in particular one of my friends that the gifts are for are a viewer of my channel just because they're not they're not a sewer which is which is fine obviously um so I don't think there's any risk of them actually seeing what I'm showing you today the other one um she may watch my channel so if this is a gift for you then I'm sorry if I'm spoiling the surprise but hopefully you don't realize that it's actually for you until Christmas so that's kind of okay I think so I've actually used the linden pattern which is by Grainline Studios and it's a, a lovely sweatshirt pattern I will put in a picture of what the linden sweatshirt looks like in terms of the packaging and the line drawings and all that stuff so you can see now I've actually made two jumpers out of um, some French terry fabric which I bought from crafty so and so quite a while ago now it's been sat in my stash for a while to be honest you've probably seen it in a previous kind of fabric haul video or kind of a sewing plans video and I've been trying to decide what to do with it but I just thought do you know what I need to use that fabric and it's so pretty so I just wanted to get down to it and use it for something that was worthwhile and something that was really special so one of my friends turned 40 um, last month and I'm actually seeing her soon so i wanted to make her a little present as part of her birthday gift because we did say we we're going to exchange gifts both for my birthday which is back in august and for her birthday which is last month when we see each other so um that gave me a little bit of extra time <laughs> to work on her gift and here it is so this is um the linden sweatshirt as i said so i have actually added five centimeters to the bottom of the length of this sweatshirt just because I personally find that it comes up a little bit on the shorter side. Now, you probably know if you watch my videos that I'm five foot ten, so I'm quite a tall lady, really. But um, I do find that it's a little bit short on me. And both of my friends that I've made these jumper for are fairly tall as well. So I just thought, why not? Let's add that extra length on there. The other thing that I tend to do is actually just to make the um, arm pattern piece just very, very slightly wider. So I tend to add about just half a centimetre down the actual arm piece. And that's just because I wanted to be extra comfortable. And I think the thing is with a sweatshirt, you often kind of layer it up with a t-shirt underneath or maybe even another jumper or something like that, particularly over the winter months. So I just want to add you know, all the comfort that I can basically to this little top. So if I hold this a little bit closer, you'll be able to see this gorgeous fabric. So um, as you can see, it's this gorgeous kind of burgundy colour fabric. Um, I've made most of this on my overlocker, by the way, in case you can see the overlocker stitches on the inside of the neckband there. Um, it's really cute, this fabric. It's got some different coloured birds on there, which are really cute. And um, yeah, some leaves and all sorts. So it's really cute fabric anyway. Um, now, if you are unfamiliar with this um, sweatshirt pattern, it's actually got tagline sleeves, which are really easy to insert if you are new to sewing, which basically means you can probably see 
they are joined kind of on a diagonal just like that so um but really really easy to put in and very straightforward so that's the first sweatshirt so that one's all the burgundy color and then i've actually used leftovers of the burgundy fabric and I've also added on some green fabric so this is also a French terry which was from bobbins and buttons and you can buy that online so I've got the green fabric fairly recently so I think it's worked really nicely actually so as you can see I've got the um, the red fabric on the hemband on the neckband and also on the arms and the cuffs as well so I'm really looking forward to giving both of these gifts to uh, my friend or friends, should I say. Now, I can't quite remember um, the exact, exact size that I've made, so I can't share that with you, but it would have been the equivalent to a, a UK size 10, because originally I cut out the pattern for myself, and I am a UK size 10, all that are about, <laughs> um, depending on where I'm buying fabric from, or buying clothes from, or which sewing patterns I'm using, obviously. But roughly, these are a UK size 10 anyway. So, um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with both of these tops. So if you have made the Linden sweatshirt, I'd love to know how you found it, what kind of fabric you used, and all that stuff. So do leave me a comment below if you'd like to. I'd love to know what you're working on at the moment. So do leave me any messages down below if you'd um, like to let me know if you're making dresses, skirts, trousers, jeans, tops, whatever it is, I would love to know because I'm always really inspired to hear what you're working on at the moment. So next I shall tell you about a work that I've got in progress. Well, I've kind of cut it out to be honest. So I'm making another Tilly in the Buttons Billy dress. So I've actually cut this out in a size three at the top and then I've actually graded out to a size five at the bottom. And then what I tend to do is put on the dress inside out when it's kind of tacked together. Then I decide on the exact fit that I want, kind of pin myself into the outfit, um, draw on it with chalk and then actually sew it up properly so I can get the exact fit that I like and that's best for me. Um, so if I just turn around the package in there, you should be able to see some of the line drawings just on the back here. So we've got the dress and the top there as well. So um, this is a lovely, lovely pattern and I always really enjoy making it. So I've cut out my next Billy dress in this gorgeous fabric here, which is a kind of waffle fabric. It's a stretch fabric, a little bit like a cotton jersey, I suppose. And I got this fabric, as you can see, it's green with this floral design on from a previous So Haley Jane box, uh, which was probably a couple of months ago now. And I've been really thinking, what can I make with it? And I just thought, why not? I'm gonna make another Billy dress. So this is gonna be really, really lovely. And I just thought I'd give you a quick update that I've cut this one out and I'm hoping to work on it soon. So that's that. So I guess that the main part of this video is to tell you about another sewing challenge, which is happening over on Instagram from the end of this month, November, into December. And really it's all about making something for Christmas. So I've got a few little notes here so I don't get anything wrong hopefully to tell you about it. So I'm going to be sharing a couple of different fabrics that I've got which I'm hoping to sew up one or the other as part of this challenge. So I'm going to go into that in just a second. So the challenge is called the Little Red Dress Project 2022 and it's being hosted by The Twilight Stitcher and Creative by T which are both um, lovely ladies that have got accounts over on Instagram. So um, you can follow them over there and I will put all of the details down below in the description box as well. So the challenge is basically all about making something for the festive season. And even though it's called the Little Red Dress Project you can actually make other things um, out of some kind of red fabric in the run up to Christmas as well. So if you wanted to, you could make a, a dress, a blouse, some trousers, a skirt, basically any kind of outfit for yourself, as long as it's in some kind of red fabric. You can also share any kind of works in progress over on Instagram if you'd like to, by using the hashtag, the little rush dress project 2022, and also tagging in the challenge organizers as well. The challenge starts on the 24th of November, and um, you can actually share pictures of your finished make any time between the 19th of December and the 24th of December. So if you would actually like to enter this challenge, as I said, it's happening on Instagram, but you will need to send your final pictures by direct message to the Twilight Stitcher on Instagram. And then you can be entered into the competition and be in with a chance of winning one of the fabulous prizes. So I think there are a number of different prizes for this challenge. So I'm uh, really excited to learn about what they are. Um, I believe if you check out the Twilight Stitcher on Instagram, she's got um, a range of different information on there about the challenge overall. So you can find out 
everything you need to know. So in terms of what I'm thinking of making, I've got two different um, ideas here. So I've got this gorgeous fabric here, which is actually already a dress. So I bought this from a charity shop a little while ago. I saw it in the window and I just thought, wow, that looks amazing. I really like it, but I want to kind of upcycle it into something. So at the moment it's got a halter neck and um, it's got quite a long, floaty skirt so there's lots and lots of skirt it's very long it's kind of a maxi dress at the moment so I'm hoping to maybe turn this into something so I thought maybe a skirt and a matching top if I could use all of the fabric for that or maybe just a skirt not sure I really like the forget me not patterns Ella skirt so that's an option if um if that could work not really sure if you've got any ideas of what I could use this fabric for then let me know so this I would say is a viscose type fabric and I just love the print of it as you can see it's got this kind of rose design on there with little green leaves and um, it's absolutely gorgeous so um yeah I just thought I've got to have that dress it just looks amazing so not really sure what I could use it for but if you could let me know down in the description box what you think that would be amazing um, and then the other fabric that I've got here is one that I just bought from Sew Over It. So I was just, as you do, going through the website, having a little look at what fabrics were on there, trying to think about this red dress challenge and think about what I could make for Christmas and that sort of thing. And I came across this. So this is absolutely gorgeous and it's um, a velvet type fabric, but it's got a bit of stretch to it. So it's really nice. Um, it's kind of burgundy coloured on both sides, but obviously you've got the stretch velvet on the one side. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm thinking that I might use this to make yet another <laughs> Billy dress, perhaps by Tilly and the Buttons, because I think I'd get loads and loads of wear out of that and it'd be really, really nice. Nice and cosy for winter. It's got long sleeves, looks quite stylish, but I could wear it kind of casually or I could wear it for more of a smart occasion as well. I'm really not sure so if you've got any ideas I've got two meters of this gorgeous fabric it's got quite a nice stretch to it and it's just really really pretty um so yeah let me know what you think in terms of what I could use it for and um any ideas would be greatly appreciated to be honest so but I'm yeah I'm probably going to have time to make one of these fabrics I would say into something rather than both of them because um, I'm actually going on holiday in December as well so I've not got loads and loads of time but I'm hoping to take part in the challenge and sew up something really nice for the best of season so um yeah but if you are enjoying um making stuff for Christmas yourself I'd love to know what you've been making so again just leave me any messages down below and that would be lovely but until next time I'll leave it there don't forget if you would like to take part in this little red dress challenge all the details are over on the Twilight Stitches Instagram account so you can find them all over there. I know I'm really excited about taking part so I hope you've enjoyed learning about the challenge from me. Until next time I shall leave it there. Don't forget to hit that like button if you have enjoyed watching today and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!